Welcome back. Hundreds of protesting security guards calling for outsourcing to fall are demanding to be addressed by the Twani Mayor Salim Zmanga. This comes after the city decided not to renew contracts with 27 different companies as a cost-cutting measure. The security guards want the Twani uh, Metro to employ them directly. And for more on this, we crossed our reporter Sipo Stierman in Pretoria. Sipo, good afternoon to you. So we're looking at uh, more job losses in another sector. Uh, and going into this, we weren't sure how things would unfold numbers-wise, but it seems there has been quite a turnout. Yeah, indeed. Good uh, afternoon to you and our viewers at home. Well, uh, the turnout, while it's not great, it's about uh, just a plus minus 200 security guards that, are, that have come out here. But of course, you got to understand this is not a protected um, uh, legal strike action. So a lot of people uh, who decided to go to work because of the principle of um, no pay, no work. But however, these 200 security guards did come here to take their message directly to the city of uh, to the city of power in Tuane, and that is to say that the Tuane municipality needs to find an alternative in terms of uh, possible job cuts. Um, the city, of course, took that decision to cut about uh, to cut contracts with about 27 uh, different uh, private companies. That those are outsourced companies that offer security services. But what that means is then that. Um, employees of those companies that are security guards that are manning the buildings will then lose their jobs. The city says this is well part of a cost-cutting uh, measure for them that they will be saving about 200 million annually. However, for the employees of those companies, it's a different story. It means no work for them. And uh, uh, on that uh, note, uh, actually, let me just talk to one of the security guards who organized this thing, that is uh, Isaac um, Gwenya. Isaac, talk to us just about uh, what is your demand here? Yeah, of course. Our demand is simple as SABC. What we're demanding here, we demand the mayor to insource us permanently under the city. So we do understand, as he said, that this uh, city don't have money, so much money. So what we want the city to, at least if he can give us the contractor under the city of Swane, because if he take out those contractors, then it is fine. He can take it out those contractors because if we are not here, to we, those contractors, they didn't send us here. All right, so you would rather have him take out the contractors and, uh, and employ you directly. Yes. Now, how many are we talking? How, how big is this group that's going to be affected here? Yeah, the group that is going to be affected is almost, we're talking about 3,000 people. If those 3,000 people is going to suffer, it seems those families of 3,000 behind, there's going to suffer. So it seems the mayor, what he think, he wants to save the budget, then at the end of the day, the people, they have to suffer. So we can't allow that thing. We won't, we will never ever allow that thing. Have you had a chance to speak with the mayor, to communicate with him? Since we start to, to, to this process to communicate with mayors from last year, September 2016, on the 6th, we send a memorandum to mayor, we give him 14 days, he didn't respond to us. We go to his office at St. Chiron, we give him another 14 days, another letter, he didn't respond to us. A mayor is a coward because of when he have to come to respond to us. He go to the media to talk the thing that we don't know, where did that story get it? Last week, Thursday, we was been here to the Swan office to, to, to make an agent appointment with the mayor. Still, we didn't get any response. So then what's the plan now? Uh, I see you, you were saying earlier that you're going to stay here until he addresses you. Is that still the plan? How long do you plan to be um, uh, out here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, I don't think that we're going home because of now we are tired because of this excuses of mayor. It seems he's not, a, he thinks maybe we are not a human being because of where the people of South Africa, we did vote here in South Africa to live a, a, a good life. But the way it seems that the DA, he came to the, to, to the Tswane to make people to suffer. All right, well, there you have it, Natasha, uh, directly from one of the security guards who is leading uh, this protest, saying that uh, they are frustrated by what they call the lack of communication uh, from the mayor in terms of uh, trying to find a solution. And they're saying that the mayor is prioritizing budget cuts instead of uh, the people's livelihoods. And those are the people that are behind us here who are here uh, demanding that uh, uh, they be, uh, they sh there should be a new negotiation on the table so that they don't lose their jobs. Sipo, thanks so much for that. I'll Sipo Stierman live from Pretoria tracking that story for us.